You've probably heard about the controversy over trans fat that has many restaurants and food manufacturers scrambling to meet government guidelines. But just what, what is it and why is it bad for you? Ann Jansen explains in this month's Prescription Arkansas. It is somewhat ironic that a search for a better fat led to the creation of one that's worse for us. Trans fats originated when we were looking for products that were healthier than saturated fats. So we took an oil, a polyunsaturated vegetable oil, and we wanted it to behave like butter. So we added hydrogen to it and made a more shelf-stable product that when we made cookies or we made snack cakes, it made them more shelf-stable, but still tasted like the buttery good things that we had in the past. There are several types of fat. Monounsaturated and polyunsaturated are the good fats. Saturated and trans fats are the bad ones. One of the things that research has shown us is that trans fats are actually more harmful to our health. They increase the bad cholesterol. They increase our um, tri triglyceride levels. They increase our risk for cardiac disease. And that's one reason there is a push to eliminate trans fats all together. New York, Philadelphia, and Chicago have all passed legislation banning trans fat at eating establishments. National fast food restaurants like McDonald's, Wendy's, Taco Bell, KFC, and Starbucks are gradually going trans fat free. Even here at Baptist Health, the cafeteria food is free of trans fat. We had to go through thousands of different line items to take a look at what's in everything. Uh, we did have to change our oil. Even the packaged products sold in the cafeteria are free of trans fat because these major food companies have followed the trend by preparing their products using cooking oils free of the substance. But when you're the one doing the shopping, how can you tell if a product contains trans fat? One of the things that you can do, starting in January of 2006, the FDA required all food companies to list the amount of trans fats in a product. So luckily, we have that food label now to look at. Another thing you can do is just look through the ingredient list. And if you see this word that says hydrogenated, 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 that's a big red flag that is probably going to contain trans fats. What about when you go out to eat? How do you know if something is prepared using a trans fat? We advertise it. We have a, a fit menu. We're a part of the American Heart Association Fit Friendly Program. And we are advertising that we are, you know, this is a healthy place to eat. Cutting out trans fat will mean an immediate improvement in your health. For those people that are cutting out trans fats, you're going to see a reduction in your risk for high cholesterol, for the bad cholesterol, to have a reduction in heart disease, which means you have a less chance of heart attack and less chance of stroke. And Jansen, today's THV. Researchers at Wake Forest found trans fats make you fatter than other foods with the same number of calories. And it increases the amount of fat around the belly, which scientists say now has a direct link to heart disease.